10 seconds is all that is needed to recreate your voice with artificial intelligence. We explain how the technology works. This audio was generated with artificial intelligence from a 10 second clip. President Joe Biden's voice in that fake audio clip was recreated from one of his speeches, but those 10 seconds could have easily been faked from a phone call or a video from social media. And alarmingly, this AI technology is only getting better. A person's voice is really probably not that information dense. Uh, it's not as unique as you, you may think. James Betker, a technical staff member at OpenAI, developed Tortoise TTS, a voice cloning model that is available to anyone. It's actually very easy to model, uh, very easy to learn, like the distribution of all human uh, voices uh, from a fairly small amount of, uh, of data. Here's the President Biden clip we used. Good evening, my fellow Americans. We're facing an inflection point in history. One of those moments where the decisions we make today are going to determine the future for decades to come. AI models have been trained on vast amounts of data, so it recognizes human speech. It analyzes the data and learns characteristics we could describe as rhythm, stress, pitch, and tone. Think of this trained model as a teacher and the person trying to create a clone voice as a student. When a student asks to create a clone voice, it starts off as noise. The teacher scores how close the student is to sounding correct. The student then tries again and again based on these scores. This is repeated until the student produces something close to what the teacher wanted, bit by bit. The deepfake expert says that future models will need even fewer samples of your voice to clone it, and the results will be even more convincing. Katie Tubman, Scripps News. New York.